Hey guys, Trevor here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to check your incognito history in Google Chrome. It's pretty quick and easy, so let's jump right in. Now I'm on my iPhone. You can do the same steps if you're on an Android or a computer. Let's open up Google Chrome and I'll walk you through some options. Now you can tell that I'm in incognito mode because the whole background is dark gray. And at the very top left, there's kind of that little detective symbol. If I tap on the little square at the very bottom right with the two, I can tap on it and it will show me other tabs that are open. So this is one way to be able to see that history. You can just switch over to another tab because ultimately incognito mode doesn't close out of tabs, just doesn't keep the history itself on your browser. So if you say close out of both of these tabs, and you wanted to see the history, you can see Chrome won't save your browsing history. However, there is a workaround because your router basically saves that history. So let's go out of here and open up your settings. Oh, and you're gonna tap on Wi-Fi. And then right next to your Wi-Fi, let's tap on that little I. And we're gonna scroll down and copy where it says router, that IP address. And let's open up Chrome here, and I'm just gonna paste in this link and hit go. This will send you directly to your router and the you know diagnostics, the information about all that stuff. You can see I have AT&T Fiber. On here, this will look different depending on who your carrier is, basically whether it's AT&T, Verizon, uh, Xfinity, whatever it may be, it will look a bit different. But what you're gonna look for is the logs. So in this case, I'm gonna switch over to diagnostics here. And from here, the very top, I can tap on logs. And this will show me the IP address of every single website that I visited. So I can just zoom in here and it'll give me the exact time and date for the source IP address and the destination IP address, AKA the website or app that I had used to connect to on the internet. I hope this helps. If it did, please consider subscribing down below. It really helps me out. And I'll catch you on the next one.